He was out on an assignment and he uh, made a decision to walk away from the institution. And we determined that he was missing and that's what started the, the, you know, the escape. In late August, Jared Carter escaped from the Robinson Correctional Center while he was doing outdoor work. Carter was recaptured four days later in nearby Palestine, Illinois. He was the first inmate ever to escape the facility. Despite the escape, Robinson Correctional Center Warden Randy Brown says the process for an inmate to be cleared for outdoor work is very thorough. For outside clearance, they have to have uh, three years or less left on their sentence. And they have to be a nonviolent offender, and they have to be in good standing as far as disciplinary issues. Uh, you know, basically they're, they're supposedly the cream of the crop. Since the recapturing of Carter, the correctional facility has taken a step back to reevaluate the process of selecting outdoor workers. Um, there was a complete review of the policy, which um, the only minor tweaks were made to it. And what we really did was just included additional case management systems to look at the historical patterns of the offender. Um, we have systems referred to as offender tracking, which tells us the history of the offender in our system. But it did allow us to re-examine and enhance. Uh, you can always take another look at things. Uh, inmate populations turn over. Uh, the population here turns over every 13 months at Robinson. So you want to make sure you understand exactly who you're evaluating, how you're evaluating them. Alongside the changes made to selecting who can work outside the facility, changes were also made to the clothing that inmates wear when outside the fence. The facility has added the Department of Corrections phone number on the shirts. Stock says the changes made after the escape affect more than just the Robinson facility. We went statewide and every facility reviewed their outside clearance offenders with the review of those systems as well. Warden Grounds is confident the changes will prevent any future escapes. The prison has also added a guard specifically to supervise outdoor workers and implemented a headcount call in every half hour. He says the changes ensure the safety of his employees as well as the people of Robinson. So I think the changes we've made, even how small they are, will be very beneficial to our day-to-day -day operation in the future. The likelihood of this happening in the future, has it was very, very, very low. It's even lower now. Brown says outdoor work for inmates hasn't resumed yet, but is in the process of doing so. In Robinson, I'm Braden Harp for WEIU Newswatch.